Effective March 6th, 2023, Electrify America is raising rates on their Pass and Pass Plus charging memberships. Charging rates went up about three to five cents per unit across the board. The subscription service still costs $4 per month, which gives you access to cheaper per unit charging costs than their standard Pass tier. Wait, what do you mean by per unit? While some states still have laws making it illegal for anyone besides a regulated utility to sell electricity at a price per kilowatt hour basis. Fortunately, more and more states are getting with the times and revising laws prohibiting that. As of now, Electrify America offers price per kilowatt hour in 30 states, up from just 23 two years ago. For these states shown in blue, the answer to is Pass Plus worth it is quite simple. If you use Electrify America to charge more than 33 and a third kilowatt hours per month, which is about $16, then it's worth it. That's equivalent to about 50% of the battery in a standard range electric vehicle, like the Model Y, the Model 3, or the Chevrolet Bolt EV. This break-even point didn't change as a result of the price increase. For other states, the break-even is in terms of minutes rather than energy. The cheaper time-based charging level is available if your EV's maximum charging rate is below 90 kilowatts. If you have a slower charging EV like the Chevrolet Bolt, which tops out at about 55 kilowatts, or the Kia Nero EV, which tops out at 77, you'll break even if you spend more than 100 minutes or $19 a month at an Electrify America station. For faster charging electric vehicles like Teslas, Fords, Volkswagen ID4, Kia EV6, Ionic 5, that break even point is 50 minutes or $18.50. Whether or not you actually achieve this rate is up to the battery state of charge and environmental conditions like temperature. When you plug in at an EA station, your car communicates with the charger and tells it the maximum rate that car can accept. If it's capable of more than 90 kilowatts of power, then you'll automatically get placed in that higher charging tier and will get charged accordingly, regardless if you actually achieve above 90 kilowatts, so something to keep in mind if you're traveling through states that do time-based pricing. Ultimately, I think the answer to the question of is Pass Plus worth it really comes down to, do you plan on using Electrify America at all in a given month? 33 kilowatt hours is an amount of electricity that's quite easy for most modern EVs to sip up in about a half hour, if not less. Unless you're doing extremely short charging sessions, if you live in a state with price per kilowatt hour charging, I would highly recommend the Pass Plus subscription tier. So there you have it, Electrify America's new pricing and whether or not their Pass Plus tier is worth it. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.